Buckeye Middle School teacher's mission to fill the void of isolation and loneliness among her students is growing. We first introduced you to the Confetti Project last year, and we're dedicated to following through on every chapter of stories like this one. Well, Tanish Gorda explains how this reading project is really shaping eighth graders into mentors, giving the district's primary kids a buddy they can lean on for support. And we know that's needed, Tanisha. So important, really needed, especially starting young. And, you know, Jody Keith, the teacher who came up with this idea, connecting students, using books, really tending and confronting the mental health issues so many students are, you know, going through right now. We've been keeping in touch since last year. And when she told me this was expanding, of course, we followed through. She's gone from four classes being involved now to 16. And again, as you mentioned, these eighth graders connecting with these kindergarten through third graders, they're tending to them, being mentors to these kids, really giving them that safe space that they all need. Reading, as we know, is fundamental. And here throughout the Buckeye School District in Medina, these books picked strategically. Well, well, we're trying to get a variety of topics that will hit whatever the needs of the kids are. Are connecting even more students through an expanded confetti project. Like I'm able to talk to people and not just hold everything inside of me. Now, from eighth grade down to kindergarten, so they get a different perspective. The project is pairing the middle school bigs with elementary littles, creating a new buddy system. As 84% of students nationwide reported adolescent stress to the education outlet, The Journal. It just helps with empathy. It helps with perspective. And um, it also helps the littles. They get so excited having these big conversations and they don't even know they're having them. And those conversations, or lack thereof, for Molly Wolfter are not always easy. As a parent seeing your kids withdraw and pulling back and closing their doors and things like that, you know, you're twiddling your thumbs like, okay, how do I help? Last year, we met Molly's son, Isaac, who had struggled alone, feeling misplaced, awkward, and frustrated throughout middle school. Isaac was just like the 88% of students nationwide telling the journal they were wishing for a way for help in 2022. But through his teacher, Jody Keith, and her confetti project. Hey, did you like the book? Molly watched her son flourish and is now watching younger kids do the same. So important because once you have that trust, once a child has a trust in somebody else, you don't know what might be shared that is necessary that somebody else needs to hear about that somebody else should act upon here reading is fundamental but it's also a resource tool sparking new excitement within caitlin haney helping her and her new future buddy and that now i'm wanting to do more projects and talking to more people so that i can have my community like the community broad well, Jody tells me she's not done there. They're going to keep spreading this confetti all throughout the community. She's already next Tuesday planning on Buckeye Junior High welcoming in the community, giving really everyone and everyone in the community just the opportunity to discuss more ways they can get involved and connect with these students further and throughout the, the school and the community. Now, Jody also already has plans for her eighth grade students to connect with seniors and assisted living facilities. So more confetti to go around in Buckeye and, and so excited to see, you know, the growth here. It, it's been amazing. Danita, Mike. What a great program. Yeah, keep it going. I love it. More confetti for everyone. <laughs> That's what we need. In you can always time. use it. Yeah. Thank you, Tanisha.